Hello, my name is Luca and this is Learn C++ Game Development Course for Ucademy.com. First of all, let me tell you how this course is going to look like. There's going to be a series of video lessons in which I'm going to show and explain you everything, how it's done. And for each video there's going to be a zip file containing the project file which you can load up in Visual C++ so you can see what we did in that episode. But I recommend you that you do not just download the project files but you actually type and exactly do as we say because else you won't learn anything. So the course recommend requirements are basic programming knowledge because if you don't know any programming language then this course is not for you because I won't be explaining basic principles of programming. Um, you have to know a language like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, PHP, JavaScript or anything like that because you have to know how to do statements, control, flow, uh, methods, classes and functions. So and you have to have Windows XP or newer. So this is the first lesson and in this lesson we're going to set up Visual C++ 2010 Express and the libraries we're going to use for game development. And those libraries are SDL and SDL Image for starters. The OpenGL library which we're going to use for rendering is already included with the compiler when you install Visual C++. So let's start by installing Visual C++. Go to Google in your favorite browser and search for Visual C++. And you should get Visual C++ 2010 Express. Connection problem. There you'll find a button named Install Now English. And you should click on that. It will ask you if you want to have Visual Studio 2010 Professional, which is a paid product and includes all the Express editions and some additional tools because you can install plugins and things like that in it. But we do not want the complete package. We just need C++. So click on Install Visual C++. A download will pop up. Save that file. And once it's downloaded, run file. On Win Windows 7, you'll get a user control pop-up. Just click yes. Same on Vista, but not on XP. You close the downloads and this. We go back to the setup. This is going to take some time. Let's just wait for the first screen. The installation is pretty basic. So I do not want to send information to Microsoft, so I'll uncheck that. We accept the license terms, so next. We do not want Microsoft SQL Server, so leave that unchecked. Next. I'll just install it into the default folder. It requires a little less than one gig of space, so just next or install. And now the installer will download all the files it needs and install Visual C++. For you it will probably download some additional things like .NET Framework and maybe something else. But because I already have that it doesn't download it on my computer. So while this is downloading um, I'm going to tell you what we're going to learn in the following lessons. So this lesson is just the setup of your desktop. 
so we can actually start programming. In the next one, we're going to bring up a screen. So I'll show you how to bring up the screen using SDL and OpenGL. Then we're going to learn how to do events and how to render things with OpenGL, how to color things and how to rotate them. Everything um, combined with events so that you learn how to use when something on the keyboard is pressed to make something happen on the screen. After that's done, we're going to make a simple game and then we're going to add to it. We're going to learn how to load images or and then render them on the screen so our game will look pretty. And we also add sound and we also learn basic game design concept like collision detection and stuff like that that you need in game development. So uh, let's just skip this installation part. The installation just finished so we can click exit. We can run it. Once it's installed, you can run it from your start menu. And it should look something like this. Uh, it will probably ask you for registration because you have to register the program in 30 days or else it won't work anymore. Uh, don't worry, the registration is free and uh, they'll give you a code, you just input the code into the program and it will be free forever after. So it's already found some of my project but it doesn't matter. We'll get to the ID later. I just close this for now and prepare the libraries we need for game development. So go back to Google <coughs> and search for SDL. Lip sdl.org is the site. So there we found a download section, sdl 1.2 and we have to download development libraries, windows and the one that has Visual C++ 2005 Service Pack 1 <coughs> near it. So download that, save it to your computer now we need another library which is SDL image and that's actually an, an extension for SDL so you can load different images like PNG, JPEG and etc. So go to their site it's a really simple site not much on it but there you'll find under binary windows the SDL image devel vc zip so visual c so that's the package we need. Download that, save it, and now go to the folder where everything was saved. That's my desktop. And now we want to extract both of this onto our desktop. Now what we want to do is to make one folder that has all the libraries together. <coughs> so what we're going to do is go to SL image. And copy the include and lib folder into the SDL devel folder. You see there's an include and lib folder here also, so we just paste them here, overwrite them, and that will merge the two folders in here. So we'll have files from both libraries in one folder. There's also a docs folder in here, which you could check if you need help with SDL but it's not really something we need for programming. Now we have in the SDL develop folder the include lib and docs but I'm going to rename this to just SDL and for the sake of that we have SDL in the same location or on our computer let's just copy this onto the C drive so it's directly on C drive and when you open it you have the include and lib folder in here so that it's same everywhere. So now we can open up Visual C++ again and I'm going to show you how to create a new project.
it's very simple click on the new project here or go to file new and project and then you get all sorts of types of project we're going to have an empty project and let's just call it lesson zero zero you can put the location where your project wants to be this is the default in your documents so let's leave that to be and also make sure that create directory for solution is checked so that way uh, another directory will be made in the project folder on your computer so okay that and we have a project open so on the left you see the solution and then you have the project lesson zero zero and in the project you have headers resource file and source files and we want to add a new source file so right click on it add new item and we want a cpp file and let's name it main I usually call my main my cpp and h file with a capital letter so just call it main and the program will automatically add dot cpp to the end so add that and it will automatically open in the middle so on the bottom you see the output and code definition window so here you see the output when you run the program on the left you have the files and on the right you have the toolbox which we do not need so we have to prepare the project to be able to compile with the SDL libraries right click on lesson on the project lesson 00 right click on it click properties and now we have to show it where SDL is located so we go to VC++ directories and we have to set two folders in the include directories and in the library directories first go to include and on the right you see a down arrow click on it and click edit now click on the map with the star in it, it says new line so click on it a new line will appear and three dots click on them and point to the include folder for SDL so we have that on C SDL include and that select folder so we can see it shows C, C said SDL include and OK that now we have to do a similar thing for library so edit add a new line and show it to the lib folder in the SDL directory lib select folder it should look something like that C SDL lib ok now we have additional things we have to in linker go to input and now we have to define additional dependencies we pointed where the SDL files are located but now we have to tell the compiler to actually use those files so again right click down in the down arrow edit and then add lib sdl main oh sorry sdl main dot lib sdl dot lib and sdl under dash image dot lib and press ok for that and we also have to set the system so under linker system subsystem we want to set it to console so that we're going also going to use console when we run the project so we can output to the console to see what's currently happening a window will pop up but a console only but you can choose windows but because we're going to use console in this lessons choose console so apply and ok now our project is ready to compile C++ code using SDL libraries now let's actually test the code 
So at the start of every C++ program, there are includes, where you say what you're going to use. So we, we're going to use iostream, so that's for basic input and output. And we also need sdl.h. So we include iostream for basic input and output and sdl.h, which is the sdl library. Now, the start of every C++ program is int main. And we have some parameters. Don't worry about these because that's just standard. You just retype it as it is. So now let's try if SDL works. SDL in it and now we set what we want to initialize. We want to initialize everything. SDL in it everything. Use control space for code completion. It's really good in Visual C++. Use it when you don't know the complete name of functions in the library. So SDL in it everything. And on the end, we do a return zero. We're also going to do an SDL delay for 5,000 milliseconds. So that's five seconds. So we're going to initialize the SDL library. Then we're going to wait five seconds. And then we're going to close the program. Let's just do a simple output here. So to the count, I don't know how that's pronounced. And what we want to output, we want to output SDL is working. And a new line here. So let's compile this. Press the start debugging green button on the top. The, and it will say that this project is out to date. We'd like to build it. We want to build it, and you can also click "Do not show this dialog again," because we always want to build the project. And the project compiled successfully, and it ran. But there's a slight problem when you run a program that has SDL library. You can see it's missing sdl.dll file. And we have to put that file into the project folder where the program is located. So go to C, where we installed SDL. So C, SDL, lib. And now copy SDL, SDL image, lib1 and lib png all four files and we dot the DLL. I copy those into your documents. Visual Studio 2010 projects. So this project is lesson zero and lesson zero zero and paste them here. So now, as you can see, there are four DLL files and the main CPP file, which is the source file. Now we can run the project again. So you can see the input, SDL is working, and in five seconds it will close. And this works. So now we have SDL prepared and working. So in the next lesson, we're going to get a screen up running, so we can actually start rendering things on the screen and start making a game. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.